Hola. Hola. No le he puesto al niño, vení. Hello, hello, good evening, good evening. I can see some very familiar faces. I don't know why. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Daniel? Nice to see you again. Linda, nice how's, you. how's everything, Linda? Hi, teacher. Hey, nice to see you guys. Christina, hello, Reinaldo, Gerson, Marlene, and Miss... Miss Joy. <laughs> hey guys, how are you doing today? Are you ready to start a new course? This is course number three. Are you guys ready for that? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Wonderful. Okay, that's great to hear. So it's almost eight. We are starting in like one minute, okay? And Nicole is ready to sleep, okay. Okay. Any hello? <laughs> hello, teacher. Oh, right. Okay. It's eight. Can you guys listen to me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. In case you hear any interference, please let me know. Because uh, I think, uh, I don't know if it, if it was raining where you guys are, but in here it's been raining a little bit. Harrison, how's it going, Harrison? Welcome. Hey, teacher. Hey. Hey, it's nice to see you guys. I can see, uh, well, this is cool. We have 11 people connected, okay? So I'm gonna start by checking the attendance first, okay? Let's see. Um, let me just go ahead and open the file. I see these tiny new faces as well, which is cool. Okay, um, let's see. Ana Elizabeth Alegría. Present. Thank you so much, Narciso. Narciso is Narciso. Con this is very strange. Narciso is not connected. Narciso is very punctual. <laughs> okay, so Narciso not here. Okay, yeah. Why don't you send him a message, you know, telling him that we are connected? <laughs> he is your, uh, your partner, right? He is your colleague, I think. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's see Claudia Karina Carranza. Claudia, not here. Okay, give me one second, please. Let me make some. No, Claudia is not here. Okay, next one. Let's see. Uh, Cristina. 
Present. How are you, Cristina? I am fine. Thank you. Nice. Nice to hear that. Okay. So let's keep going. Uh, let's see, Daniel. Are you at home? I'm here, teacher. Are you at home or oh, are at my work? Oh, you're working. Okay. My, um, okay. Working. <laughs> I see. Yes, okay. Okay. Uh, David. David. Okay, David is not here. Uh, Eric Arnoldo. Present teacher. How are you, Eric? Ready for the new uh, course? This is course number three. <laughs> yeah? <teacher>. All right. <laughs> Great to hear that. Okay, let's keep going. Gabriela Guadalupe. Present teacher. How are you, Gabriela? I'm great. Nice to hear that. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Herson Manuel. Hi, teacher. Present. Hey, thank you. Okay. Jesus. Jesus Antonio. He's not yet connected. Okay. Um, Jose Ruben. Ruben. Not connected. Okay. Juan Carlos Peña. Present teacher. Hi, Juan Carlos. Nice to meet you, Juan Carlos. How's everything? Nice to meet you, teacher. Thank nice, you. nice. Linda. I'm here, teacher. Linda is Linda. Okay, good. Maria Julia. Maria Julia. Present teacher. Present. How, how are you, Maria Julia? Very good, and you? I'm doing good, but I don't see you. <laughs> Maybe my connection is not working, but I don't see you. Is your camera wow. working? I am eating, teacher. Oh, enjoy, enjoy. Okay. Marlene Nicole. Hello. How Present. are how are you, Marlene? <laughs> You're not, nice to see you, Marlene. Nice to see you. Uh yeah, I'm nice. Great. Marvin Omar. Marvin, not here. Okay. Let's see. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. How are you, Norma? Nice to see you again. Hi, teacher. Nice. Oh, nice to see you too. <laughs> nice, nice. Great, great. That is wonderful. You guys keep going. That's wonderful. Rafael. Present teacher. Rafa, I don't see your medals on the back. What happened? Everything good. In okay. our workplace. Oh, you are at your workplace. Oh, that's the reason. Okay. Let's see. Let's keep going. Reinaldo Castro. Present teacher. How's it going, Reinaldo? In my house. Nice. Hey, how's everything at home? Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Xiomara. No, Xiomara. I don't see you, Xiomara. Okay. Let's see, Adrian. I don't see Adrian. All right, let's keep going. Georgina, where's our psychologist? Connected. Okay. Let's see, Jairo. Jairo, 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 not connected. Jose Alberto. Jesus, I think your mic, your mic is not working. Jesus, I... Jesus? Hi, hello. I'm sorry. I, uh, Jesus, if you listen to me, your mic is not working, I think. Jose Alberto? Jose? Okay, not here. No problem. Hey, Jesus, can you listen to me? Hello. Hello. Hi. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, all yes. right. All right, good. Hi. Thank you. I think your connectivity is not working that well, or maybe my connectivity is the, is the issue, but I hear a lot of interference, okay? So um, let's see, we are connected here, 16 students. I want to know how you guys feel, okay? That's my first question for you guys. How do you feel? It's the first day of the, of the module. I want to hear, you know, your expectations. I, there are some new faces. Maybe you guys don't know each other, but I think I know most of you guys because I 
kind of like we had the first or the second course, but then there are some of you which I haven't seen. All right, so let's do something. I want you guys to talk each other to get to know each other a little bit uh, better. So um, let's see, but we are just a few. We are 17 now, which is, you know, a lot better. And Narciso is connecting. Narciso, maybe Narciso had forgotten it. All right, so uh, tell me, so how do you feel? I want to hear you guys. Raise your hand and say and express yeah. how you feel. Yeah. Hey, Narciso, you are here. How's it going, I'm, Narciso? I'm here. I'm here right now. Nice. Nice to hear that. So how do you guys feel? Marlene, how do you feel? This is uh, module number three. <laughs> how do you <laughs> feel? How does it feel? Uh, I feel happy. <laughs> oh, okay. What's the reason? <laughs> What's the reason uh, of your happiness? <laughs> No, no reasons. No reasons? Okay, come on. I don't think so. You don't want to share it today. Okay, no problem. <laughs> so let's see, Marlene, what are your expectations for this course? Any expectation that you might have? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, you don't know yet. Let's do something. Let's do something. I want you to tell me how you know. feel. Let's use the chat. Okay, I want to <laughs> start using the chat. So start writing something. Uh, so what are your expectations for you know this course? What do you expect from me? What do you expect from the course? What do you expect from your peers? Okay. So what do you expect you know in from this course? In you know you know. So you tell me, okay? You can start like texting or chatting with me. Send me, you know, a message telling me, hey, did you, you know, in this course, I expect this and this and that, okay? So I give you two minutes only, no more. So I start typing. From me, from your peers, learning new topics, says Daniel. Okay, yeah, definitely, Daniel. Okay, what else do you expect from this course? that the teacher doesn't speak, he only listens, right? Because you need to practice, not me. <laughs> okay, so what else do you expect from this course? Learn to speak better English, I don't know. Okay, of course, that will happen. Two, only two, what about the other ones? I have to have 17. Harrison says, keep learning more English and keep improving my pronunciation, okay? I have three people. How about the other ones? I have to have 17 messages. Come on, don't be shy, just, just say something, okay? What do you expect, okay? Cristina, Maria Julia, Elizabeth, Marvin, Norma, Juan Carlos, Reynaldo. What are your expectations? Learn more words in English. Okay. Okay. What do you expect from the teacher? What do you expect from your peers, your partners, your classmates? What do you expect from, from us? You know? Let us learn a little more English. Okay. Juan Carlos says learn a little more. Okay. Do they call you JC, Juan Carlos, or, or never? Juan Carlos, do they say to you JC, JC by any way, by any case? No? JC okay. teacher. Okay, JC. Okay. Sounds good for me. All right. So um, what else? You have come to a little bit shy. I see just one, two, three, four, five, six people saying, you know, learn to speak better. Okay, learn more vocabulary and improve our English. Okay, Linda, I know, I know that will happen, Linda. Thank you for, for saying that. Okay, so I want to, I want you guys to tell me, you know, something about you as well. And I don't know if I have volunteers to raise your hand and say something about you. For example, you can say maybe uh, what you like doing in your free time, um, 
your, like your hobbies, maybe you want to share something, maybe your, your workplace or experience that you, you have or your occupation or profession, so we can get to know you a little bit more, okay? So who would like to start talking, okay? Who would like to start talking? Let's see. Maybe this is what we can do because I have read some of your expectations already and I'm going to create some groups like we have 19 people so you can get to know each other. OK, so just introduce yourself. OK, say who you are and like uh, hobbies. Maybe you want to say uh, work experience or profession so you can get to know your peers. OK, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to send you guys to the groups like maybe four or, or um, three participants and then try to interact just introducing yourself okay so i'm going to give you only three or four minutes the most so you can speak and then you guys come back and then talk to us okay maybe you will have to introduce somebody else so please pay attention to what they say all right so here we go talk to your peers talk to your peers let them know who you are okay so here we go one sec let me see we are 19 i'm going to create um see maybe uh, five groups. But before I send you guys to the groups, I want to know, I want to ask Daniel, what are we going to do on the groups? Um, excuse me, teacher. What are we going to do on the groups? I'm gonna send you guys to speak on the groups, but what are you gonna talk about in the groups? In the groups, we're gonna talk about the, our, uh, ourselves, okay. our okay. work, uh, our hobbies. Mm -hmm. This is what I talk, what I talk in the group. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Then. Yes. And please try to remember what they say because maybe you will have to introduce somebody else. If Daniel talks to Rafa, maybe Daniel will have to talk about Rafa. Okay. So pay attention what they say so you can like share and socialize later on. Okay. So here we go. Five or, or three minutes, I said. Three to four minutes. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Xiomara. Hi, Xiomara. Hello. Um, hello, Linda. Don't ah. break that, though. Hello. Nice to see you. <laughs> hello. Hola, terrible. <laughs> and what do Marvin. you do? Good evening, Marvin. Hello, hello. Hello. Well, my name is Linda. Um, um, uh, I'm a cell woman. I'm a cellar woman. I work in a... Okay, perfect. What is your uh, profession? I... I say... The assistant de producción. Okay, pro, yeah. producción. Assistant. Assist, assistant. Okay. Product assistant. Es correcto, teacher. You? That is correct, Daniel. Exactly. Okay, teacher. Thank, Thank you. Assistant. Where do you live, Jesus? I live in Santiago de Chacuanco. Okay, perfect. Uh, in your free time, what do you? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Teacher. Hey, Ruben. How's everything, my friend? Que llegamos tarde con Narciso. No sé qué teníamos llegamos que tarde, hacer. teacher. Just talk to your peers. Introduce your, yourself to your peers, okay? Introduce okay. yourself. Say... Hey class, my name is Ruben. I am the 
the best, I don't know, student. <laughs> Just go ahead and talk to your peers, okay? Introduce two more minutes. I'm gonna I'm going to you know bring you guys back to the main session. So speak, 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 speak. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. So es céntrico. Yes. Uh, but I, I live in Sonsonate. I, I work in Guayua. Oh, okay. I live in Sonsonate. Ah, okay. Every day I, I drive, I drive in to my work. Okay. Uh, I work um, here in Sonsonate City. <laughs> Nice. We are in Sonsonate then, right? You teacher. I work in Sonsonate. <laughs> I, I am I am from El Salvador <laughs> originally. Uh, live? <laughs> <laughs> I live. You know what? You can say where are you from originally. So I can tell you I'm from Sonsonate originally. But if you don't say originally, then you wanna say the country. In this case, I'm I live in um, well in Sonsonate as well. But this is like um, maybe where do you live exactly in Sonsonate? Where you are? Mm, no, in San Antonio. San Antonio, okay. All right. And what about you, JC? I uh, live in Sonsonate. Oh, Sonsonate is downtown. Okay. No, in yeah. my case, I don't live in the downtown. I if you if you have gone to the um, to the what to the Cameroon maybe that road, okay. Yeah, so that that one, like yeah. like La Litoral, you know, <laughs> song like so, somewhere somewhere there. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, all right. So guys, we're gonna go back to the room to the main station. Okay, I'll see you guys there. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. De cuatro de seis, creo que se hacen dos. Hey, guys, you, are, you were in the previous group, right? All you guys know each other already. Hello. <laughs> you see, you're lucky. All right, so let's go back then. Come on. Let's go. This is not working. Let's go back. No. Okay, welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for sharing about yourself. I know that you have uh, now, let's say, gotten to know your peers a little bit better. I see Xiomara is uh, with, I don't know, nice company. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to share, you know, what you remember from your peers. But before we do that, I'm going to present, you know, something which is, you know, general, let's say, uh, aspects of this course. So you will have to try to remember, you know, memorize what you heard on the groups so you can share later on. Okay, so let's, let's put it on ice, let, let's hold it. And then we're going to start now reviewing or going over some, um, you know, aspects of the, uh, you know, about the course. And here we go. Let me show it to you right now. I think you're gonna see my screen in a minute. All right. So, guys, before you guys go ahead and share, I want to give me a second. What happened to this thing? Here we go. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. 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 All right. So, guys, this is. English, English for Work, Program Basic Module 3. That's my beautiful name, you know, best one in the world. <laughs> I don't, even though I don't deserve it, I think I have said this to you guys, I don't like using my first name because, you know, 
is obvious, right? So I, that's why I say that my, my name is Armando. So, so you remember, you know. And then we have, well, this is about me. This is something about me that they want me, wanted me to write about me. I like the picture only. That's the, that's everything I like. Wow. And, you know, <laughs> it, it's not me. Actually, that's Photoshop. Photoshop. What, what is he? <laughs> that is Photoshop. <laughs> Photoshop, you know. When, you, feel, you, cannot, you, cannot yeah, you know, now yeah, you, you, have different. you can see all my, my uh, what do you call this? bags under the eyes like ojeras you know but then you don't see anything like that okay so but it's fine so that's about me guys and it's a pleasure to be your teacher so we can learn from each other okay so that's the purpose okay so let's see this is what I care requirements okay so this is in Spanish okay I know you guys know this already however we're going to go over just to make sure okay uh let's see Herson Help me reading all these requerimientos, requirements, please. Requerimientos, nombre completo. Permítame que me está molestando acá. Nombre completo, conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente, luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Y participación activa. All right, thank you so much. Any questions about this? Are we clear on this? Clear as the, the what? As the orchara? Okay, everything nice. No Very problem. Clear. clear, okay, let's clear picture. Going. Nice, thank you so much. Let's see. Another volunteer to read only the first column. Thank you, Marlene, you're so kind. <laughs> Go ahead. Asistencia al 100% de las clases. La asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también a cumplir con la clase completa. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Questions? No questions? Are we fine? Okay. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate, you know, in interrupting me. Number two, or, or column number two, let's have Arnold. Go ahead, Arnold, please. Okay, okay. La asistencia se toma en tres ocasiones. 8, 9 y 9.55 pm. Se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir presente o presente. Y tener cámara encendida. O presente o presente, ok. <risa> <risa> ok. Se puede decir presente y presente también. Ok. Sí, uno de los dos. Ok, good. Thank you so much. Narciso, help us with the color number three, please. Sesión uno a uno, disponibles. Cada participante será asignado 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con su facilitador. Permisos no disponibles. Ok, I think it's clear. Ok, I'm going to share with you guys the list of, um, you know, these one-on-one -on -one sessions. 10 minutes we have assigned, just in case. Have you guys received that list? Have you guys received the list? 10 minutes? No. Not yet, okay. I think I'm gonna have it. I think I have it on the, let me see if I have it on my, on my, on my phone so I can share it like now with you guys. Let's see, I think it was sent to me today. Yeah, I have it. So I'm gonna send it to the group right now. Let's see, this is, you can check your WhatsApp. You just got the, the list. And this is uh, what Narciso just read, which is 10 minutes, right? After each class. So congratulations, Eric, you're the first one. <laughs> okay, so that's it. That's each class, 10 minutes after, after 10, right? So 10 to 10, 10, um, 10, 10, that will be there the time all right so um well we have this is like general information let's see we still have some other things here tareas y evaluaciones let's see i'm going to have jc jc please can you read uh, tareas and evaluaciones
Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma. Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt you. So we Cada all... viernes. Uh -huh. Perdón. Sorry, I don't know if, I think I'm having trouble. I think there's some interference. Let's just read only one, JC. So that'll be, you said, de cada viernes, right? So let's see, number uh, number three. Let's keep, let's keep reading. Reinaldo, help us, please. The... It doesn't have a number, but number three. Just count. One, two, three. Todas, todas las tareas. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos. Tienen que estar completos antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. La fecha límite para terminar el examen medio midnight es el viernes 16 de julio antes de medianoche. Eh, Continúe. Please, finish it, please. Okay. La fecha límite para terminar el examen final es el viernes 30 de julio antes de medianoche. El manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma, no si se utiliza material de terceros en ninguna sesión. Ok, nice. So that's for you to know, right? So our main, let's say, core, the main, uh, let's say guide is going to be the the manual right our handout the one you guys have i don't know if you guys have it already like printed or are you going to print it but if you don't have it yet i think it was sent to the group right to the whatsapp group so you can uh go ahead and download it from there and you can have it ready for each class it's going to be the main guide for this course the uh, the, the handout that is for or or um in this cooperative already sent to you Okay, I think that's it. Let's see. Well, this is about Zoom. You know, you know that you have to use the, these options. We have silent button or mute, uh, use a camera, chat, breakout rooms. And if you need some help, you have the ask for a help button. Okay, I think we are all familiar with this in a way. So that's basically it. Uh, any comments or any questions guys before we move on? Are we fine with this? No questions? No questions, no answers. Okay. No, teacher, no questions. Great. All Thank you so much. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you so much. Okay, so now it's time for us to share. Now let's try to remember what you taught on the groups. Okay, I'm going to have only maybe the chance to listen to some of you because of time. So who wants to participate? Tell me about your peers, what you remember. Something that caught your eye. Thank you, Daniel, go ahead. Mic, Daniel, your mic. Excuse me, teacher. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna talk uh, with Norma and Jesus. Norma is work in furniture, he is a business administration in, in, in her three times. She is in C movies and listening music. And Jesus works in Laboratorio Lopez, he is uh, assist production, assisting production, he is live in Santiago Texacuango and in her, in his three times, listening music and reading the book. Okay. okay, nice, Daniel. That's really good, Daniel. I know you are <laughs> like good at memorizing things. I can see. Oh, no, I, I, I'm right. Oh, you wrote right. it. Oh right. man, <laughs> come on, accept, accept the compliment. <laughs> Say accept it. Yeah, I am good. Accept it. <laughs> Accept the compliment and say, yes, teacher, I'm good, you know, I'm good. <laughs> and then, but you know that you have written it down. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Daniel, let's do something. Choose the next person, please. The next person, okay, the next person is, let me see, Marlene. <laughs> okay, 
Hello, uh, my partner is Christina Herson and Julia. Christina like eat pizza and her hobby is a read book and she lives in a popa. Her son is an engineer and he likes eat seafood and Julia has 29 years live in lower this and she likes dance and play soccer. Okay, nice. Did you write it down as well? No? Did you write it down? <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> but Christina, Christina, we're friends, right? We're friends. Hello? We're friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're friends <laughs> we're friends okay okay uh mr engineer herson okay what is your <laughs> yeah i can i can see i didn't know that about her so that's great to hear okay so let's listen to one more who wants to um you know participate marlene choose it please <laughs> easier um rafael rafa yes go ahead Salvatello the Eric teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay, the Eric Cuella, he lives in Sonsonate City, working in Guayua. He likes to watch action movie. Okay, he likes watching action movies. Mm -hmm. what, action type of, movie. what type of action, mm -hmm. huh? Okay, I see, I see. Okay, good. Let's see. Do I have any other who would like to, you know, participate? Any volunteer? Raise your hand. JC. Oh, JC. Okay. You want to listen to JC? All right. Let's listen to him. Go ahead, JC. You were chosen. Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay. Arnold. Arnold. She lives in Sansonate City. Um, he works in Guayua. Um, he likes play soccer and uh, he likes pizza. And Rafael, she lives in Washapam. And she works in Seguris Agent. And he likes from. No more, teacher. No more. <laughs> I you know, was expecting something else to be said. Okay. Thank you so much, you see. Thank you for You're sharing. Welcome. Guys, well, thank you so much. I know that you all want to participate because I could see that on the, on the, you know, when I asked that if you wanted to participate. But we are going to continue. Okay. I'm going to do, uh, please go to your manual, to your handouts, please. And we're, we're going to start with our unit number one. And this is module three, National Aims for Work Program in Salvador. And we have our first um, topic. We're going to go right you know, to the topic. Okay. And then this is unit number one. And we're going to study today. This is called Company Identity. Okay, and so that's basically the first um, unit. And let's go all the way to the first topic. Okay, let's see, here we go. Let's see, Reinaldo, what is identity for you? What is it? Can you explain to me in your own words, what is it? Eh, perdón, no, no te entendí. Uh, what is identity, Reinaldo? In your own words, can you uh, listen to me? What is identity okay. for you? Like in your own words, can you explain, try to explain for us what identity is, this word? Listen to, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Uh, okay, so that's the instruction. 
what is identity, Reinaldo? What is identity in your own words? In sus propias palabras, ¿qué es identidad? Um, identidad, identity, my, my person. Right. Oh, you, okay. Okay. What is included in identity? What is included? What are some elements that we find in identity? In your own words. It's my, my work. Your work, okay. My job. Your job, okay. What else? Uh, my name. Your name, great. What else? What else? Um, I live. Uh, I live. Where did you live? Where did you live? Okay, your um. Okay, I understand your address. Okay, location. The address, uh, my house. Your house, okay. Okay, what else would you add? Thank you so much, Reynaldo. What else would you add, Ruben? What is identity for you? What, what, what does it mean for you? Repeat, teacher. Yes, what is identity for you? What, what does it tell you? What is identity? What comes to your mind when you listen to the word identity? Because we're going to talk about company identity today. Okay, no problem, no problem. Like, try to think about, you know, what it means. Let's see, Herson, engineer. So what is identity for you? <laughs> what is it? In the uh, okay. we're one of the best companies in America in the production of flexible packing. packing. Okay. Okay, nice to hear that. Nice to hear that. So that is the company identity. Okay, good. Let's do something. Okay. Let's see, uh, Arnold, can you answer this question, please? The first one here, can you see it? Is it important for staff to know the mission and vision of that company and why? Eh, me pregunto por qué es importante la misión de un país, de, de una empresa. Mm -hmm. eh, for the la... staff. Ah. English. English. Ah, no. English. ¿Qué es la pregunta? Your answer. Clase. Necesito que se reten, ¿ok? Entiendo de que tenemos que rebuscarnos cómo transmitimos una idea, cómo comunicamos con nuestras propias palabras. Ese es el reto, ¿ok? Yo trataré de mantener la clase en la mayor parte posible en inglés, pero necesito que usted se rete, ¿ok? Y que trate de ver cómo dice algo. Why is it important for the staff? Why is it important? Le vamos a dar chance a Arnold que piense y nos diga en inglés, ¿ok? Read the question and answer, please. Uh, but uh, with the mission is how to get there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. So yes, I listen to you. I listen. And in the vision. Mm -hmm. the, the vision. Anybody who would who like to help? No problem, Nard. We're going to go back to you. I'm going to un ratito. Okay, so what comes to your mind? Let's listen to Daniel. Okay, tell me, Daniel. Okay, the, it's important uh, who uh, we, uh, okay, um, it's important to me okay. now the vision and mission of my company. Because to 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 my work, eh, okay, you can say throughout or through my work. Exactly, you said it. Yeah. Uh, through my work, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna help to the company to complete the mission and mission. Outstanding. Thank you so much, Daniel. Yes, exactly. Exactly. That's what I want to hear. Thank you so much. What else? What else? Who else wants to participate? Linda, what comes to your mind? Linda? I don't know. It's, it's like a 
uh, how do you say guide? Guide. Guide. Mm -hmm. Guide uh, is like a guide to to know where we where we nos dirigimos. Where we go, where we go, where we where we are going. Okay, yes. Or where we are addressing. Okay, uh -huh. good. Oh, good, good, good. That's what I want to hear. One more participation. Okay, let's listen to, let's see. Um, uh -huh. Yes, Jesus Sanchez. What's your answer for this question? It, yes, it's important for the staff because we know the um, the important work and we do and every day okay yes and now rafa how does your everyday work take the company closer to this to the vision you as a security agent Yes, and um, I think in, in my workplace, I working in, as security agent, and I have for some time for protection and my distribution center. And I, really, I think every one people they now uh, make a quality medicine in our county. I work in Swiss laboratory. Okay, yes. Okay, I know, I know that. I know you work in that company, right? And what actions do you guys do to take the company closer to the vision? Okay, anybody else? What do you do? You, let's say, as an individual, like what do you do, okay, in your everyday work? to take the company closer? What is your contribution for the company based on the, on the, on the vision? Who wants to participate? Do you guys understand the question? ¿Se entiende la pregunta? Ya me dieron unas ideas. Quiero, I want to listen to more. Miss uh, Alegría, what comes to your mind? You mean teacher? What comes to your mind? ¿Qué, qué se le ocurre? ¿Qué piensa de la pregunta? And the mission and vision. Right. Uh, the, this one. How does your everyday Ernest. work? Oh, okay. Um, in the vision is important because in the identify, um, in, what do you say, empleados? Employees. Uh -huh. Employees. Um, identify, identify employees and the company. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, of course. You have to know the vision so you can feel identify yourself with the company, right? Okay. Got it. Thank you so much. Let's do something. Let's practice this conversation, okay? We have the conversation right here and let's practice it. I want you to listen to me, write um, the pronunciation if you need to, and also um, let's check on meaning if it's possible. Let's see. Give me one second, please. We have right here. Okay, this is the conversation we have here. We have Diana and we have, we also have um, Celia, right? Let's see one second, here we go, okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? Yes, I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right, 
our mission describes why our business exists. And our mission is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our mission tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay, so um, let's do something. Let's repeat this and let's practice this conversation. Let's do it in, at first, let's do it in pairs. I want to um, hear two volunteers. Maybe uh, you can simply raise your hand to get, try to read it, okay? Read it, only read it. Raise your hand, please. Okay, let me choose you. I'm gonna choose you then. <laughs> okay, if you're if you're like serious, I'm gonna choose you then. Okay, if you're so serious, I know. It. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, it's very hard. Believe me, to choose one. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, uh, <laughs> is it hard? Okay, so let me have, I'm um, going to have JC to be Diana, and I want uh, Eric to be Celia. Okay, I think it's okay. So go ahead, read it, pronounce it, please. Okay, teacher. Did, did you hear about the visit on the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer a question about the mission and the vision of company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check into Chicago. Right. Our mission describes why our business exit. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. All right, thank you so much. Yes, pronunciation is, is okay. It's great, it was understandable, it was clear. It's gonna make like just a very like quick um, observation. This word is ready, 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 ready. Uh, we should be ready to answer, ready to answer, okay? And then uh, to pronounce this verb is preferred, preferred. And then we have the word hotel, hotel 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 okay so i want to hear two other people reading it okay did you hear about the visit of the manager oh this word look at this one but i see the order we say today 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 okay you barely pronounce the letter o casi ni pronunciamos la letra o Okay, barely pronounced. Okay, vamos a escuchar a dos más, two more uh, participants. Y vamos a pedirle a los que leyeron que los elijan. Okay, uno y uno. Go ahead. Okay. Eh, Narciso. Narciso, okay. Next one, Jason. Mm. Falta uno. Choose it. Daniel, Daniel. Okay, Daniel, fine. Go. I am Diana. Okay. I am Diana, Daniel. Okay, perfect. No problem. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from checking to check out. Why? Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. 
our vision to tell what our business want to get it in the future. Okay, great pronunciation, guys. That was really good, Narciso and, and Daniel. Great pronunciation. Okay, um, so before we move on, do you have any questions, any pronunciation checkup, anything that you want to double check or meaning from this conversation? Is it clear? Clear? Clear, no questions? It's clear, teacher, I understand. You understand everything. Thank you, Daniel, for confirming. And what about the other ones? Do you understand it, Reinaldo? Do you understand the conversation? Fully understand the conversation? Yes, understand, teacher. Okay. Yes, All understand. Right. Great, great to hear that. Now, uh, this is the topic uh, for today. We're going to study how to use infinitives, okay? So let's see, let me ask one person in here. Marvin, what is an infinitive? Do you have any idea about infinitives? What comes to your mind? Do you know anything? Yes or no? Infinitives? In this conversation, Marvin, like in this, uh, what are some infinitives that you can identify? If you know, it's fine. If you don't know, it's fine. In this conversation we just read, do you identify any any infinitive verb here? Did. Which one? Did. Can you uh, say? Can you spell it for me, Marlene? Oh no 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 nothing. <laughs> no okay, all right. So if you don't, Marvin. Do you want to say anything? Well. An infinitive, guys, is, what is it? An infinitive is, we have two verbs which are highlighted in this. Like, let's see. Okay, Harrison, to make. Okay, this is one. And then the other one we have here that is highlighted is to become. So how do we make infinitives? That's the question. How do we make them based on this example? In order for us to make an infinitive, we need to have the base form of the verb plus two. So all these verbs which have two and then the base form is an infinity. But then what do we need to know about this? And how do we use them? That is the question. Okay, so we're going to uh, go over on the next, you know, um, let's see, pages, and then we're going to find this out, okay? So there is a purpose, there's something that, that we have to, um, you know, keep in our minds as to when to use one of these infinitives, okay? But now what I want you to have clear is this, quiero que tenga claro esto, two base form, eh, tenemos el two y el, y el base form of the verb, y tenemos un infinitive. Now, how do we use it? Ahora, ¿cómo lo utilizamos? Before I move on, can you do me a favor? On the chat, send me some examples of infinitive verbs. We have to make. What else? What comes to your mind? More infinitive that you know. There are like woo, thousands of verbs. So send me some ideas on the chat, please. One minute. Send me some infinitives. Whatever comes to your mind, as long as it is a verb. To send, okay, Daniel, yes, to send. What else? Infinitives. Okay, only one to send. What about the other ones? To arrive, to eat, to run, okay, to check. My goal is to learn English, okay, to talk, okay, yes, we have these infinitives. The purpose is that we use the two plus the verb. I want to read more. JC, where's your example? Reinaldo, I don't see your example. Marvin, your example. Rafa, Arnold, 
to have, okay, Marlene, your example, Cristina, Ruben, Jesus, Linda, Xiomara, Maria, Julia, where are your examples? Infinitives. Send okay. me your infinitives. To sign, okay. Okay, to play, to give. Okay. To inspire, Narciso has gone really technical. To inspire, okay, I like it. To speak. What else? I think we all have to dance. Christina, you want to dance? Okay. No, it's just an example. To bring, says Narciso. Okay, to walk. Okay, great. So I think now we have the idea that an infinitive is a verb which has two and then the base form. That is the infinitive verb to drink, says. Yes. Okay, so now. Let's keep reading, let's keep reading, let's keep reading. Let's uh, go down below a little bit, let's see. Let me, we have here some statements. What is an statement? An statement is just um, a sentence or it can be a par paragraph, okay? Linda says to write, to care, to cry, exactly. So let's do something. I'm gonna give you, let's see, four minutes, one minute per each statement. So you can match them with the companies. We have some companies on the right, I think, and some statements on the left. So let's match them. Read the, the missions and then match them with the companies. I'll give you four minutes. Go ahead, please. Match. When you finish, I will appreciate if you can tell me in the chat that you finished, please. Thank you so much, Daniel, for confirming. Appreciate it. Okay, one more minute then. Thank you, Linda, appreciate it. So Linda and Daniel finished. 30 seconds more and we thank you, Marlene. Thanks so much. Okay. Okay. Three have confirmed. So I'm gonna stop sharing because I want to check I want to check the attendance. <laughs> okay, so uh, so I'm going to give you some more time and then uh, you guys help me with the attendance, okay? Let's see, let's do this again. Number one, number one, we have Anna Elizabeth. Narciso. No. Thank you, Claudia. 
I'm checking the attendance, guys. Okay. Only say present. So okay. I'm gonna start checking the attendance. So maybe I was not clear. So Anna Elizabeth, say present if you listen to me, please. Narciso? Oh. Claudia Karina? Present. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, okay, I'm just checking the attendance, Narciso. I'm just checking the attendance. So say present if you listen to me. Present. I know you I listen to me. Okay, thanks. All right, good. Uh, Claudia Karina, I think she's not here. Uh, Christina Stephanie? Hi. Thank you. Daniel? Thank you. David Antonio? Eric Arnoldo? Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Guadalupe? Herson? Present. Thank you. Jesus. Present. Thank you. Jose Rubén. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos. Linda. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Maria Julia. Present. Thank you. Marlene? Marvin Omar? Present. Thank you, Marvin. Norma Carolina? Present. Thank you. Rafael? Present. Thank you. Reinaldo? Present. Thank you, Reinaldo. Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you, Xiomara. Adrián. Georgina. Jairo. And Jose. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, Marlene. Hello, Marlene. Hello. <laughs> Guys, if you if you see Marlene, tell her that I'm telling her name, but she's just ignoring me. Hmm. No. Okay. Thanks. Uh, okay. So um, so now let's go ahead no. and, sh and share. Let's see. Let me go ahead and share again. Okay. As you can see here, we have four statements. Let's see. Yes, A, B, C, D, uh, and also we have some of these verbs we have in like in bold, like highlighted to be, to be, to bring, and to, to inspire. Basically, those are the infinitives, right? Now we are going to match them. I want you to read and then also, you know, tell me the answer. So who wants to volunteer with the first one? Who wants to volunteer? Okay, go ahead, please. Thank you so much. Uh, the first is... Um... To be the most customer-centric company in the world where people can find and discover anything they want to buy only online is at Amazon. Amazon, okay. Have you ever bought online on Amazon? Have you bought something? Um, no. No, never. Maybe it's okay. It's not that trustworthy, or maybe it is. Amazon is, you know, a really recognized, well recognized mm -hmm. company. Okay, yeah. good. Thank you so much. Number two, Narciso. Number two, or letter B. To be the global energy company most admired for its people, partnership, and performance. Mm -hmm. What's the answer? Was the answer Narciso? Uh, I don't understand you. Okay, sure. we 
No problem. Thank you so much for telling me. We have on the right, we have some company names, right? We have a Starbucks, we have Amazon, Chevron, and Nike. Okay, so we have Starbucks. It's Chevron. It's Chevron. It's Chevron. Yeah. It's Chevron. Company the energy. Exactly, exactly. Chevron is, is actually not only for energy, it has more than that, but yes, that's included. Okay. Uh, okay, so what about, uh, so in this case we have letter A, Amazon, letter B, Chevron, right? So what about letter C? Who wants to read it and also tell us the answer? Letter C? To bring inspiration and innovation to every apple in the world is Nike. Nike, right? Okay, yes, we have Nike. And then we have the last one. Who wants to read it? Last one. The last one? D or D. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Letter D, read it to inspire. I, I, I read? Yes, please. Oh, to inspire and nature, nature the human spirit. One person, one cup and one neighborhood at the time at a time mm -hmm. um, at a time Star starbucks okay good starbucks. yeah starbucks good thank you so much we have some uh pronunciation check up in here like a double so you can double check we have this word um admire letter b to be the the global energy company most admired 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 exactly to say atleta o la persona que practica deportes athlete 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 and then and then uh, nurtured como nutrir o alimentar nurtured nurtured and a number letter letter d to inspire and nurture the human spirit nurture. one person one cup in one neighborhood at a time okay and that would be Starbucks. Starbucks is a little bit expensive or dependent, right? I prefer to have a cafe listo, you know, that's cheaper. Really cheaper, <laughs> like one quarter. <laughs> okay. Musum. Musum. It's correct, it's correct teacher. Cafe rico. Cafe. The quarter coffee. The, yeah, <laughs> the surviving coffee, you know, at 3, at 3 p.m., like something like that, you know, you just need it, like, así, cargado. Right, uh, uh, like two cafe listos in one cup, you know, super strong. <laughs> okay, so, and, but, you know, those are some statements, guys, but these are some statements for companies, right? Missions, right? So that's the purpose. Entonces, los infinitives se usan para what? What do we use then? Like, eso vamos. Aquí tenemos, in here we have some uh, video essential components to an effective mission statement. Okay, this is for you to do it at home. Like, I know you are at home, but this is your homework. Click on the link, open it, watch these videos, and take a look at the statements and the examples that they give you. Okay, that is, you know, for you to go ahead and do it. I know you guys do it. I know, I know you guys do it. Right, Marlene? I know that you have the time to access and then start checking. I might be asking tomorrow. So please go ahead and do it. Uh, check information like these resources, you know, are also uh, adding to your knowledge. So this is what I was talking about, how to use infinitives. You already gave me a lot of infinitives, right? On the chat. So this is what I want to focus on. We use, see, one second, please, here we go. We have some infinitives in here, to make, to become, to be, to bring, and to inspire. These are the verbs that we use to write missions and vision statements. So we already said that uh, an infinitive is what, two, plus the base form of the verb, right? So, Harrison, do me a favor. Can you read this part, infinitives? Read it, please. Only read. Infinitives are used for the to express purpose, 
like in mission statements, e.g. why does the company exist to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world, sorry. Athlete. Athlete, athlete in the athlete, world. Athlete in the world. Good. Thank you so much, Harrison. Look at this one. This word used, 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 used. It's like used, used. Okay, good. And then we have to express. And then uh, EG, this means example given or for example, for example. When you read this, it's like, for example, or example given. That would be the, the best one. So the, the, the EG stand for uh, example, example given like this, example given and then, or for example, which is equal to say, uh, when you say example given, it's like, for example, it's same thing, okay? FYI, for your information, okay? And then why does the company exist? So that's the question to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. Okay, so that is when we use infinitive. Aquí es cuando usamos los infinitivos para expresar propósito, un propósito. Um, so the, this topic is about missions. And how about if we think about our personal life? How can we use infinitives? Can you think of any example? to express a purpose? What comes to your mind? What is it, what is it that you want, that you can share in your personal life? How can you give me an example with an infinitive that is expressing purpose? See, I can read your chat, your messages, if you have any idea. Now, use this infinitive to express purpose, the ones you already sent me before. Mm -hmm. Let's see any example that comes to your mind. Not talking about like missions and statements, not yet but like in general. Why are you learning English? Why? To be a better, uh, better form to work. Okay, to be, exactly, there we go, there we go. To get better job opportunities, to be bilingual, to travel, to travel to United States and get a gringuita, you know, or a gringuito, ah, you know, I got you, right, I got you. I don't know, what's the purpose of that, okay? That is the mission, okay? That's exactly to express, to express your ideas, like expressing purpose, okay? So um, that is an infinitive. Let's read, let's read the next part. Hold on, I don't know what I did here. Give me a second. Oops. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, um, so what else do we have? Infinitives are also to express direction, like in a vision statement. Not only in this, but then like in a vision statement. For example, where is the company going? Our mission is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. Now, let me ask you a question. Where, what? Help me out, please. Quiero que me ayuden a pensar, okay? That's the purpose. ¿Cómo usamos el, el infinitive? Any question? Ahí no dan el ejemplo. Where, what? Direction. Let's think about it. Give me your examples. No quiero yo darles la, la pregunta. Sé que se tiene mucho que aportar. So what comes to your mind? Infinities to express direction. Para expresar dirección. Direction. Marvin, any idea? Mm -hmm. 
Where is <laughs> I just thought about something in your personal personal life? Okay, what comes to your mind? Something just came to my mind, but I don't I don't think it's uh, like imagine you are just dating someone. You're dating someone and then things are not going that well. So where is this relationship going? To failure, <laughs> to, I don't know. So you tell me, you know, but I want you to express, okay? What comes to your mind to express direction? I know. I'm going to give you some time. I'm going to give you two minutes, but I want you to give me the example. Two minutes. Think about, use the infinitive. Look at the example here. Two minutes. When you have your example, just go ahead and send it to the chat, please. Two minutes, give me one example. One more minute. Okay, time's up. Now you can share with me. Share with me what comes to your mind. What are your ideas? We are 17. Estamos 17 conectados. Okay. 17 ideas. 17 ideas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Marlene, go ahead, Marlene. I can listen to you. I listen to you. Maybe where are you traveling? What are you no. traveling? Okay, what would be the infinitive? Yes, go ahead. Yes. I no, I could travel in the Europe. No. Europe. <laughs> United States. Okay. To travel to United I, States. So the infinitive is yeah, to travel. I, to I, travel. Okay. To travel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Travel to United States. It's good. Um, let's no. see, where are you traveling? Um, mm -hmm. I am traveling to United States. Yes, why not? That's infinity, to travel. That would be the infinity. That's what we're looking for. Yes, any other idea? Mm -hmm. Yes, Marlene. It's okay. Any other idea that you might have? Infinities, that's the purpose, guys. Just say it. No se desconecten. <laughs> ya bajo uno. Uf, ¿Quién se fue? Oh, ok. What comes to your mind? Just say it. Díganos. Si en realidad está bien, it's ok. Now we can correct it. Or we can, you know, discuss it. That's the purpose. Is it difficult? Confusing? So confusing? Teacher. Yes, go ahead, Harrison. It's about me, right? Yes, it's about you, like your daily life. All right. Um, for example, to become the best coordinator of the Salvador in the flexible packing in the industry. I like it. Yes. 
I like it. You just give me an example in which you are using the infinitive, okay? Which is okay. Yes, yes. To send the best medicine in El Salvador, says Rafa. Okay, yes. So the purpose is to use this infinitive, guys. And now let's do something here so we can get more, uh, let's say, ideas. Just take a look at these ex like sentences that we have. We have four. Let me see how many we have. I think it's more than four statements. No, we have six statements here. So we're going to identify the mistake, okay? Or we're going to make the corrections, okay? So there are four mistakes related to the use of infinitives. Let's do something. Let's, I'm gonna give you five minutes, read these sentences as, and then make the correction if necessary. Number one is already done. Our mission is to become, that's a mistake. They corrected it already. Now, read the next uh, from 226, and then you tell me if something is wrong or if it is correct. Okay, take five minutes so you can complete it, or less maybe, less time. Go ahead, read. It's number five. You finish? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it's a question. Number, number. It's, it's... Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> Only number five. Only number five. Is, oh, the others are correct. Okay. No, no. Read. Que si, que si, que si solo es el número cinco que vamos. No, son todas. From from two to six, de las dos a las seis van a leer. Identificar si hay algún error. Solo hay cuatro errores. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. yes. Read. Number four teacher is, is wrong. Because, number, uh -huh. number four. Mm -hmm. Because uh, is using the verb in ing. Yeah, ing is not correct. It's not correct. I like so your is it okay? So is what right? is what is the correct one, Daniel? Uh, we access to bring, we have to bring, to bring, to bring, to bring, to bring. So we bring to the communication solution. Okay, so this is one. Thank you so much. We don't have to say the ing for only we exist to bring. Good. What else? And the number five, number six. Number six. Okay. My company. Uh huh. And my company. What's, what is the no. mistake? It's the bird. The bird is a present continuous. Which one? What is the bird? What is it? Okay. So what do we say here? Become. Uh huh. It's a become. So it's a letter E. No ing form. Okay, so we have one mistake, two mistake, three. So what's then the what is the what is the other mistake we're missing? Number so, four, number five. What is the mistake? To no, be, have two. be leaders. So we're missing the the two, right? To to so this is a uh, infinitive. Okay, good. So let's see. We have one mistake here, which is already done. We have two mistake, ing form, where we're missing the two, three, and then we have becoming, this is number four. 
and we had to identify four mistakes. Okay, we did it. Thank you so much. That is correct. So now do me a favor, only read it. Read it. I want, I need six volunteers to read. And let's start with Rafa. Rafa, read the first one, please. Number one. Only read, please. Rafa, your mic is not working. <laughs> I think you're muted. Okay, okay. Go ahead, Rafa. Our, our vision is to become the number one provider of office suppliers in San Miguel. Okay, thank you so much. Supplies in San Miguel. Good. Number two, uh, Daniel, read it, read it, number two, please. Our mission is to provide healthy, healthy, and economic meals to construction workers wherever they are. Thank you so much. That is correct. Tasty, tasty. Good. Uh, JC, number three. We aim to, to be the number one to cleaning service provider for financing institution. Mm -hmm. Financial institution, good. Xiomara, number four, please. We ex ex exist to bring telecommunication solution for business in rural areas. Thank you so much, Xiomara. Uh, this one is like business, businesses. Business. Business. Business, business only business. one. Mm -hmm. Business. And then business. plural businesses. Business in rural. Okay. Uh, rural. In rural, rural areas. Rural areas. Business in rural areas. Areas, areas, areas. areas. Yes, areas. yes. And how do you pronounce negocios? We say business yes. one, business. And in, but in this case, we have in plural, we say businesses, 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 businesses. Business. Businesses. Okay, thank you so much. Next one, Maria Julia, number five. Uh, we ambition, ambition to be leaders in the distribution of energy drinks in the regional drinks in the regional market. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Marvin. Number five. Okay. Number six, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, my company's vision is to become Becoming the most preferred high salon for adolescents. Adolescent. Okay, good. Become, 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 and preferred. Okay, good. Guys, this is what we're going to do now. Thank you so much for reading. This is what I want you guys to do. Uh, let's see. I want you to please give me a second. Let me stop sharing. Sharing. There we go. Clear this, clear this, okay. So we have here that you guys are going to work like individually, okay? And I want you to choose one local company, right? Or think of your own, let's say, if you maybe don't have your own company now, let's pretend that you are the owner of a company. And I want you to write one vision and one mission okay statement for it and in order for you to know that you are complying with uh you know that is a good vision and mission i want you to take a look at the checklist we have on the right so we have this uh, let's say um requirements let's say per each statement so missions should have what they must be original. No se van a ir a copiar una, una de internet. Original, okay, you do it. Uh, memorable, what? Something that you can 
impacts, right? Others. Uh, this word succinct means like brief, concise, right? Specific, okay? Not long, because long is not, it's going to be too wordy. Too wordy, muchas palabras. It has to be brief, specific. Related to staff, to the personnel of the company. It's related to staff. That will be for mission. Now, what about vision? You have to think about a future, directional and descriptive. So these are some of the aspects that you, you have to consider to write your vision and mission. So you guys, you Narciso, you Marvin, you Reynaldo, you, you Herson, you are the owner. Create a mission and a vision. Okay, I'm gonna give you plenty of time, but I want you to please start writing thinking in English, how to write a mission and a vision, okay? Of your own company or maybe a local company. But don't go on the internet and, and basically, no, you do it, okay? So I'm gonna give you plenty of time and start working on that right now. If you have questions, please raise your hand. Questions, no questions? If you don't have questions, start working. One vision and one mission. Look at the examples. They're gonna give you some ideas. Okay, let's take uh, a couple of minutes more, please. I know you are inspired.
Okay, two more minutes, guys, and we're going to start sharing. If you finish, please just go ahead and send me a message on the chat so I know that you finish. Please. Thank you, Daniel, for confirming. Thank you so much. Who else finished? Who else finished? Who else finished? Thank you, Linda. Thank you so much. Okay, who else can confirm that finish? Marlene, finish Marlene. Yes, okay, thank you. Harrison, finish. Maria Julia, Ray, finish. JC, finish. Ruben, finish. Norma, finish. You guys finished? Okay, it says done, done, done. Great, great to see that. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so the majority already finished. JC finished? Still inspired? <laughs> Still inspired by this uh, 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 I, I think that finished, but I don't know why. I... I don't know. I, I, I think it's so so. You are now an entrepreneur, right? Un emprendedor. Ya le puso el nombre a su compañía. Después la va a patentar. Okay, good. No problem. This is what we're going to do. Okay, because I want everybody to share, please. Everybody to share what you have written. So uh, we are going to have a problem with my internet. I don't hear you. Yeah. Guys, can you listen to me? Or is, is it only Arnold who has trouble? Or también todos me, no me escuchan? Okay. Okay. I think my connectivity is not working that well. Okay, uh, so this is what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna make some groups, guys, and read and share your visions to your partners, okay? This time is only for you to read and listen to your peers, okay? So have your missions and visions ready to share. 
here we go. Everybody must be sharing. I'm going to um, create like five groups so you can share. Share, JC. Share, Ruben, what you wrote. Share. Jesus, are you here? to offer the best maintenance service for your vehicle. Mantenimiento. Sí, ofrecer el mejor mantenimiento para los vehículos. Vehículo. Ah, okay. Y la invitación es to be the best in vehicle maintenance. Ok. Eh, entonces, no sé. No, yo... Terminó yo, Chris, eh, no sé cómo cómo se llama la otra señora la, la señora. Eh, bueno, es, you can call nombre, her Miss Alegría. Elizabeth. Miss Alegría. Ah, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Yo tengo la misión. Ok. Ok. Eh, se dice Lady Company in Central America for its contribution contribution to the development of the agriculture veterinary and its quality of service and maintaining, ma maintaining excellent business, rela business. Re business relation with international supply. Okay. I, my company is Linda's Shoes Store. The mission is, our mission uh -huh. is to go our mission is to provide <laughs> our mission is to provide our customer comfort quality new styles at a fair price and the vision is 
to be the bigger and number one shoes store in the country. Who is the bigger? Okay. Vision, our our mission, sorry, our mission is to understand all the needs of our of our clients and provide them with real solution. As bueno, es la que yo puse la de mission is it, short to become the best customer service company by 2022. Esa es la que puse, o sea, así, sí. cortita. Ok, yo la he puesto nada más en la misión porque no, no, usted, no, no, no escucho <ríe> muy bien porque tengo problemas de conexión. Dice, ser la empresa líder en servicios financieros a nivel nacional basada en nuestros valores y principios. English. Eh, be the leading company in the, in the, in the financial service national way base on no values and principles. Principles. Solamente ese he hecho yo ahorita porque por los problemas que tengo que me sale de conexión inestable. Bueno. Marvin. Marvin Méndez. Eh, en la misión eh, eh, be the competitive competitive company y en la visión eh, meet establish, establish sería establish Establish goal. Establecer metas. Ajá, cumplir con las metas establecidas. Ah, bueno. Meet, establish, establish, no sé cómo pronunciarlo. Establish, establish goals. Establish, establish goals, establish goals, or set goals, mm -hmm. establish. Okay. Ya estamos, pero falta el... Estamos. Finish, okay, we return, ya regresamos, okay, ahorita vamos, here we go. Thank you so much for confirming you finished. <laughs> Daniel, so when are you going back home? Like, this is like, I remember you work for a week, right? Or not? Excuse me? You work a week and then you rest a week. Am I right? Or not? I remember that you said to uh, me that... No, we said uh, he... The, the boss is saying for my teacher. Oh, teacher, listen to me. Yes, so for you this, change. For this month is a change the schedule. We work four days and day off four days. Four days, days off, and then you work for days. Four days. Nice, nice, you know. Yes, I this wish. Is, this, this is my, my. This is my third night. Third night. So just one more and then you go back home. Third night, yeah. Okay. And yes. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Yes. Okay, great. Great, guys. So thank you so much for returning. I know that you were inspired telling your peers your missions and visions. 
please choose the best one. No, maybe not the best one. Just vote. Votemos entre su grupo. No sé si lo hicieron. Le mandé un mensaje para que elijan una. Que la va a compartir. Mm, okay. no. Creo que no vieron el mensaje. Eso no, eso no. <laughs> you didn't no leí, pero no. No. Don't remember. You didn't remember. Ok, no problem. Um, fíjense que estoy recibiendo mensajes que mi, mi conexión está inestable. Ok, así que un ratito para la cámara. Ok, so, entonces, ¿quién nos ayuda? Ok, vamos a ver. Tenemos espacio para unos tres, porque ya faltan five minutes. ¿Quién nos quiere compartir? Los que más. No... Ok, I, I... Go, Daniel. I go, I go, I go to con. Oh, eh, bueno, my company is uh, maintenance people. The mission is to offer the best maintenance service for your vehicle. The, the vision is to be the best in vehicle maintenance. Nice. I will take my vehicle there, Narciso. You convinced yes. me already. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, teacher, thank you. Yeah. I have, I, I have my first, my first client. <laughs> yes, I'll be your, you know, um, frequent client. So you, you already, you know, have one. Okay. So go ahead and, and launch it. Lancelo con todo. Nice, thank you so much. Elijamos alguien más, Daniel, please. Choose one more. Let me see. JC. All right. Good choice. Go ahead, JC. Okay, teacher. In the mission is the best in good working, make the best furniture so that customers are satisfied. And the vision is the best at the Susanate City, and then the best at the National level. Okay, that's good to hear that. Okay, okay, the best in Sonsonate City. Okay, good. The best of the best. Thank you so much, JC. Choose one more, and this is the last one. Choose one more. One more. Teacher. Thank you so much. Go ahead. Okay. My company is um, a bet. The vision is to meet expectations in the animal health framework to be highlighted by a complete service covering the, the health and well being of pets. Professional commit committed and res responsible for quality providing the best alternative and mission to off offer the best choice in the veterinary medicine to preserve, preserve the health of our pets just to the peace of mind of their family with high quality care and well-being and we are coming to achieving the greatest coverage of parent needs. Nice, you love pets, right? I can say you love pets. Nice. Uh, do you I have guess. pets, Mar Marlene? <laughs> How many do you have? Pets? Yeah, like dogs or... Uh, Two dogs and one cat. Don't do they fight? What? Do they fight? Uh, no. No. Um. Um. Uh, and sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Thank you so much for sharing. That was really technical. That was really good what you said. Thank you so much, guys. We're gonna finish here, but tomorrow I'm gonna give some space for those who haven't participated, so you can still share the the visions and missions okay so finish brushing up your ideas if you haven't finished and then tomorrow you're gonna have a chance to share 
if you haven't shared, okay? Si no ha compartido, mañana tendré la oportunidad. Cerremos la clase y me ayudan con la attendance, okay? Um, Ana, Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Ángel Narciso. Present, teacher. Thank you. I am here. Uh, thank you so much. Claudia Karina. Yes. Cristina. Present. Thank you, Cristina. You've been kind of quiet today. I know, like, huh? I don't know, but I, that's my perception. Um, Daniel Luna. Present, teacher. Thank you, Daniel. David, not here, right? And then Eric Arnoldo. Present teacher. Thank you, Gabriela Present. Guadalupe. Gabriela, no here. Herson. Present teacher. Me parece haber visto Gabriela conectada, no sé por si. Ella fue la que se conectó, quizá. Uh, Jesús. José Rubén. Present teacher. Thank you, Rubén. Uh, Juan, uh, I'm sorry, Juan, JC, that's the one, JC. <laughs> Present teacher. <laughs> you. Uh, Linda. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Maria Julia. Present teacher. Okay, Marlene. Present. Thank you, Marlene. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Present teacher. Reinaldo. Xiomara. Adrian, Georgina, Present Jairo, teacher. and Jose. Thank you, Xiomara. Okay, guys. Well, it's been a pleasure to be, you know, as you know, your teacher for, for this session. And see you tomorrow if God, you know, give us the opportunity. Try to rest and um, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, teacher. Bye bye. Good night. ¿Quién le toca? ¿A quién le toca ahora, teacher? Ahí, tú, tú, tú que me estás escuchando y no te vayas, no sé. Tú que tienes dos ojos y me estás escuchando con dos oídos. Exactamente. Ok. Bye bye. bye. No a Eric. Arnoldo, bye bye. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Entonces, what's up, what's up, Eric? Estamos no, no sé pues. Si hey, hoy tuve no. malo, me tuve bastantes problemas de conexión. Me pero, me hey, pero, pero, pero yo también, es que me cambié de, de un lugar y aquí está un poco encerrado donde estoy y siento que se me estaba como interfiriendo. Mañana voy a cambiarme de spot. ¿Qué tal, pues? ¿Qué ah. me cuenta? ¿Qué preguntas? Aquí, aquí iniciando con el, con el que estamos hablando del to be eh, eh, Uh -huh. y el otro era para no me, no me recuerdo si era para empresa o algo así decía, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. en, en realidad el tema es infinitivos, todos los verbos infinitivos son aquellos que le ponemos tú y luego el verbo, verbo. en su forma base uh -huh. y la función es buscar esos verbos que expresan un propósito o una dirección de algo, por lo general la mayoría, ¿verdad? Dependiendo del contexto me van a mostrar, van a presentar esa, esa información. Por eso que al principio les pedí que me dieran ejemplos de infinitivo y todos me mandaron un gran montón de infinitivo, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí yo creo que el propósito es más bien, Eric, eh, conocer o tener la idea clara de qué queremos comunicar, que exprese un propósito o una dirección. Por ejemplo, la, por eso que el libro nos cita las, las visiones y misiones porque una manera más clara de comprender que hay una dirección, hay un propósito. Por eso es que es, es el, el infinitivo con propósito. Así en muchos libros de texto sí lo, así lo, lo, también lo citan. Entonces, este, en sí, algunos lo ponen al principio de la oración. Si va en medio de la oración, no hay ningún problema. Y algunas veces lo usan después del verbo to be. Por ejemplo, el, ahí teníamos unos en el libro. Déjenme ver si les comparto. En lo que comparto, alguna otra pregunta que tenga, alguna... Eh, sí, en, en donde nos puso seis oraciones y que habían cuatro malas, 
No tengo una duda. Ajá. Sí, sí, donde se dice My Company, si agrega la S, obviamente ya se sabe que está hablando de, de la compañía de uno. ¿va? No uh -huh. se puede poner solamente My Company. No, lo que sucede de que aquí está, estamos, aquí tenemos un este, es un, un posesivo. Es, company es un Ajá. nombre posesivo. Es decir, y la, está el my también que es posesivo. Ajá, pero aquí es como decir, una, le voy a decirlo, vaya, mi, mi compañía, ese uh -huh. es posesivo, pero aquí el posesivo que estamos viendo aquí, es, este es, un, es un nombre posesivo, es decir, la misión pertenece a la compañía, uh -huh. por eso que es my company's vision, entonces, uh -huh. es decir, el, el posesivo aquí se da de la visión hacia la compañía, no de mí, porque en de sí, mi ajá, entonces mi compañía, pero tiene una visión, que es, uh -huh. es la visión pertenece a la compañía. Por eso es que este se conoce como un, un este nombre posesivo. Están los adjetivos ah. posesivos, adjetivo es este, un adjetivo posesivo, pero ese es un nombre posesivo. Yo puedo decir también, por ejemplo, my mother's name, por ejemplo, que es más común. Vale, lo voy a poner aquí, uh -huh. my, me. My mother, nombre, mother's name, el nombre de mi mamá. Mm. My mother's name is, bla, 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 y ponemos el nombre. Entonces es el mismo contexto. The company y luego la mission, the company's mission, por lo que pertenece a la, a, la, a la misión. Lo que le iba a comentar es que algunas veces, vaya, por ejemplo, aquí en el número dos, Our mission is to provide. El, el, el verbo que estamos viendo, el infinitivo que estamos viendo, es bien común encontrarlo en esos contextos como este. Y tenemos este, también quería subrayar, no encuentro el lápiz, aquí está. Es muy común encontrar el, el, el infinitivo de este. Después así de como qué? después después del is. Ah, así. Del is. Ajá. Y es en realidad el que muchas veces puede ser confuso, ¿por qué? Porque uso y luego tú, pero es porque sí existe la estructura de infinitivo. Después del verbo to be is, o puede ser are, o en futuro be, o will be, podemos utilizar el, el infinitivo, es aceptable, porque lo que siempre se dice es que usamos después del is, el verbo va en ing, decimos, ese es mandatorio, mm -hmm. pero en realidad este, este es el infinitivo con un propósito, por eso que también se acepta, y aquí está bien claro, ¿verdad? que para dar dirección, o para este, aparte para expresar un propósito, entonces, yo creo que el mensaje, más que todo, Eric, es dar espacio o dar esa, esa oportunidad de, de no quedarnos que después del verbo to be va ING, porque en uh -huh. realidad no es así. Existe este infinitivo con un propósito, que ahí lo podemos uh -huh. usar así. Entonces, la idea central es cómo o qué queremos transmitir, qué queremos decir, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, ahí usted ya decide, ¿verdad? Entonces, este verbo me ayuda aquí y le pongo tú, porque sé que también se puede hacer de esa manera y siempre y cuando queda clara, quede clara la idea, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, ¿alguna otra pregunta que tengo de esto? ¿Algún otro ejemplo? ¿Algún ejemplo que se le ocurra para...? Eh, no, en el caso de esto, que estamos hablando de esto, del tú, Uh -huh. eh, en este caso, en la número 6 estaba malo, que decía to become. Sí, no to, be. Ser, to become. Exacto, porque después de is to become, porque el verbo debe no ir en. Ir el, 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 no, 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 no debe, no debe, de, porque no puedes, de, dejaría de ser un infinitivo. Este, uh -huh. No puede, en ningún momento se acepta, porque lleva to. Después de to, el verbo va en ing. Perdón, va en, en, su, en su forma base. base. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, sí, eso está ahí, estaba bien. Qué bonita. Como vamos iniciando clase, igual hay, hay que desempolvar la mente un poquito. Sí. <risa> porque <Claro. risa> porque claro. volvimos ahí a, sí, a casi, ocuparnos un tiempo. Como, como dos semanas, ¿verdad? Sí. 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 De hecho, algo, pero lo bueno es que nos sigue dando la clase usted. No, hombre, yo por encantado, la verdad. De hecho, el, hay unos que llegaron ahora que veo que, han, que yo los tuve en el módulo número uno. Entonces, ah. así que es chivo para mí porque veo que son los dos ya grupos no. que, que ya, ya puedo, ya más o menos conozco. Ahí solo vi al señor Don Reinaldo y JC, que son los, y también Xiomara, son los tres Ajá. que veo nueve y los demás, todos ya los conocí. Así que en lo que sea posible, vamos a estar apoyándonos ahí, trate de dejar el espacio, organice el sí, tiempo. Porque es... el... Sí, 
porque yo siento que lo que afecta un poco, y entiendo porque todos trabajamos, ¿verdad? Pero si se organizan, dejan un espacio para ir leyendo todos los días. Es más, este, si puede ahí es comprarse Exacto. una libretita para ir sacando vocabulario y ir retándose, aprender cosas nuevas, frases nuevas. Escuché música en inglés, Eric, eso ha ido un montón. Entonces ahí sí, en, su, en, en, sus, en, en su celular, conéctaselo, y, pero bajen las letras también. Y allí, ¿verdad? Y de, de repente, pues, cuando ya al final de todo este curso, usted anima a hablar en español, y yo le voy a decir, Eric, ¿cómo se dice esto? Yo le voy a preguntar a usted. <risa> esa That's, es la idea. Esa es la idea la sí, esa es la misión. That's the mission. Así que, un gusto, cuídese, gracias. y pues mañana seguimos practicando, si Dios nos permite. De acuerdo, muchas gracias. Bueno, Feliz pues, entonces, igualmente, bye bye.